What is going on YouTube? This is Gavin21202, aka Gavin Orlandi, and hold on one second, you guys, I'm going to move this so you guys can see me better, because due to the light, you're not going to be able to see me that well. Ladies and gentlemen, I come to you today with six different topics for you guys today. Ladies and gentlemen, we will get into those six different topics right after this intro. Let's get into it. Everybody, everybody get your fucking hands up. Alright, WWE Universe and wrestling news fans, starting this video off, we have news on the Raw and SmackDown Live attendance. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a picture of the SmackDown Live attendance. And as you saw in that picture, barely the side that isn't tele the side that wasn't televised, there was barely any people. I believe the only people that were there were the people that were in the front row. Um and it's being said that WWE may have to step up their game, be, game because uh, it's being said the reason that seats were like that is because of the lack of interest in the product. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. WWE has not been giving the fans what they want. WWE has been lacking that, and quite frankly, the WWE fans were sick and tired of it. Uh, so maybe, hopefully it was just those two places. Other than that... Uh, it's being expected that Raw and SmackDown will pick back up in attendance next week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, moving into our next topic, we have Bound for Glory and TNA. Is Global Force Wrestling no more? Is it going back to TNA? Because it's being said that before none other than Jeff Jarrett walked out of TNA, the deal to make TNA GFW was never officially finalized. It's being said that since in the Bound for Glory poster, which you can see right here and right now. It did not say Global Force Wrestling Impact Bound for Glory. It just said Impact, Pound, uh, Impact Bound for Glory. Uh, it said that and it's being said that because of backstage problems and because of backstage disagrees, uh, disagreements, uh, Jim Cornette will be parting away with TNA, that is right, uh, Jim Cornette is, uh, d has decided to take his, uh, his promoting elsewhere and leave TNA, hell, maybe we could see him in WWE, that would be pretty cool to see, uh, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, and if this video is short, these, basically, these topics right here, really, like, there's not that much to it, it's just kind of, like, borderline, so, uh, Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, moving into that next topic, we have Hulk Hogan. As Hulk Hogan in a recent interview said that he does quote-unquote not know if the WWE is going to bring him back. It is being said that Hulk Hogan at this time does not believe WWE will bring him back, but there's always a chance. Uh, Hulk Hogan then went on in that same interview to say that he would like to have his last WWE in-ring match with Braun Strowman. That is the last match that Hulk Hogan wants in the WWE. Quite frankly, I wouldn't want to see that match. I think it would be uh, terrible, and Hulk Hogan would probably die in the ring. Um, but Hulk Hogan uh, wanting to wrestle Braun Strowman, it might be kind of a cool build-up, and it might be some like cool mic segments. But straight up, these guys can't wrestle. I mean, Braun is growing on me, but Hulk Hogan's never really been a good wrestler. So... Hulk Hogan versus Braun Strowman. Will it happen? Is WWE going to bring uh, Hulk Hogan back due to basically racist uh, remarks have come back up after the Jinder Mahal promo that he cut on uh, Shinsuke Nakamura? Um, moving on from that topic, ladies and gentlemen, we move into the WWE possibly buying TNA and WWE surveying its fans. On WWE.com yesterday and the day before, there was a poll surveying WWE fans. Uh, surveying WWE fans on if they would like to see uh, other wrestling promotions on the WWE Network such as Ring of Honor and TNA. It's being said that Vince McMahon has not yet made up his mind on whether or not he wants non-WWE products on the network. It's being said that that is the one thing that's keeping them back, WWE back from actually doing this. Um, and 
Matt Hardy then took to Twitter and said that uh, it looks like Impact Wrestling and Ring of Honor, and he said, delete, decay. He said all that stuff. Well, uh, it looks like it'll be on WWE Network before you know it. Uh, it's uh, being said that Matt Hardy is quote-unquote delighted to have TNA and Ring of Honor on the WWE Network if it does happen. So whether or not WWE does decide to do it, it is being said that the poll uh, won with uh, the TNA and Ring of Honor fans did overrule the vote, and it, that is the option that uh, had won the vote. But moving into the next topic, we have WWE moving into a non-PG era again. It's being said that WWE wants to get a little bit more etchy, and they may bring back an ECW weekly show or even some kind of weekly show that allows uh, more WWE Network fans to come and watch, get the product raised, get hype bigger. It's being said that WWE may move into a TV show that is TV 14 once again, and it is being said it would be a TV show that would be on the network. Um... There's been talks for many, many years about WWE possibly making Raw and SmackDown up TV 14 again. Um, but it, it doesn't look like that's that's been the case in any of those scenarios. But WWE wanting to move out of the PG era and maybe like bring some of the older fans back. And I quote on, I, I personally think that that's the reason WWE doesn't like it's not gaining fans because they're too focused on the past and not the future. Um, but anyways, moving into our final topic, as we can say, we're coming up on seven minutes, not that long of a video, uh, six topics, very short topics, very lenient topics. It's being said that Luke Harper is currently being repackaged, as we know Luke Harper has been on the road with WWE recently. It's being said that as of this moment, Luke Harper is being repackaged, and when he returns to the WWE, he will return in a tag team with his Wyatt family brother and Eric Rowan to dominate the tag team division. It is being said that they will go on to the SmackDown brand and stay there and dominate over there and possibly win the tag team championships on SmackDown Live. Oh, and before, that's the end of that topic, but before we go and uh, end, this, end this video, it's being said, ladies and gentlemen, that Paige, Paige, uh, as I did report some of it two days ago, that she was back at the Performance Center, uh, it's being said that she may come back as a free agent and might possibly go to the SmackDown brand, as we know she had, she was drafted to Raw, but uh, fi never officially made a, a Raw appearance on since the draft. So, ladies and gentlemen, if there's any other WWE news, rumors, headlines, and updates in regards to anything we went over the Raw and SmackDown attendance, Bound for Glory, Jim Cornette, Hulk Hogan, WWE survey, WWE going on, PJ, Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, all that. Ladies and gentlemen, in order for me to bring you more of these videos, I need you guys to do me a couple things that has to like this video, favorite this video, share this on every social media platform that's only possible, and do one last thing, and definitely subscribe. Thanks, guys. Love you all.